All right, we're doing an unboxing. Oceans to Orbit, lot say. This just got sent in to me today, and I'm gonna do a full visual essay on it, but wanted to do an unboxing real quick just to show you guys and give you a preview. This is a pre-production prototype unit, so it's not final. Let's go through all the detail stuff first. From Sid, one of the co-founders, he said, this is a pre-production prototype. Very close to production level, but still a few things that we have requested for improvement. Changes are detailed in the document we sent you. As mentioned earlier, we received some updated crystal from our supplier with additional AR coating. This green sample is fitted with the five colorless internal coating that we have chosen to go ahead with. Uh, the box is prototype, but resembles 95% of the production quality on the box. The changes are white outer box, drop down flap, minor update, additional paper to hide folds, user manual and sleeve to be exactly the same color. Currently outer sleeve is Pantone, user manual is CMYK, minor printing improvements, warranty card to include QR code and will be plastic, not paper. Outer sleeve front page has a missing logo pattern. This will be addressed for production. So it sounds like they have everything on the watch that's close to final, um, but it's just some improvements on the packaging and the box. I requested the green dial. Looks like they updated the crystal. I do know that on some other reviews that got sent out to other YouTubers, the crystal was not updated for that, but mine has the updated AR on the crystal. So yeah, let's get into it. Box feels great. Ooh, look at that. Nice case. Oh, it has a built-in shelf in here. Look at that shelf. Inside the shelf, we have a microfiber cloth, the manual. This is the warranty card that they said they're gonna update to plastic. Right now it's paper. Push that guy back up in there. That's nice. Box is nice. Premium feeling box. Padded on the top. Definitely made of wood. I love the logo. I got the green dial. Some extra links. Let's put this foam over here. Softball. Ooh. That's nice. Bam. So, press release says case and bracelet is 316L stainless steel. Screw down crown. Fully articulating bracelet with screw pin secured links. Push button release class with five micro adjustment positions. Crystal is a sapphire crystal with internal colorless AR coating. The movement is a Swiss made STP 1-21. It's a no date movement, so no ghost positions. Self winding mechanism with ball bearing and manual winding. Hours, minutes, sweep second, stop second device. It's uh, It's got hacking. Frequency is four hertz. Power reserve is 40 hours and it's 26 joules. Water resistance is 100 meters. And I went for the mission green dial. 39.5 from two to eight lug to lug is about 47 
thickness is 11.7. That's a 20 for sure. 20. And then bracelet tapers down from 20 to about 16. And then the clasp is 17.7. That's what I'm getting. But I don't know. This thing's been acting weird. So not sure if this is... It might be off by a few decimal places, but for the most part, pretty accurate. Let me zoom in a bit for y'all. Clean up the crystal a bit. Got my fingerprints on it. Dial looks amazing. That's the AR we're dealing with. I guess that's the updated AR. Let's see. How does it compare to my Raven Endeavor, the AR? It's about the same. It's a reflective surface. You can't get past it. Okay, first impressions. I love the case. This case is phenomenal. Definitely... Oyster Perpetual, Aqua Terra type of vibe. The hands are a little unique where the hour hand has a little bit of shape to it. I love the arrow second. And I love the logo of this brand. The dial... It's kind of got like a linen finish to it almost. It's brushed with vertical lines going down. Has that has that look. The crystal pops up over the bezel. Bracelet. Um, bracelet's nice. It's got a nice taper to it, which I love. And um, it seems to drape pretty well. The clasp feels very secure. That's nice. Milled clasp. I'm guessing these are going to be solid end links. Lot say on the bottom, 100 meters, which is 330 feet. Screw down crown. Crown is a great size for winding. Winding up the watch feels very nice. All right, let's take this guy off. Boom. David and Sid have been amazing to work with for our little collaboration that we have. And I'm really excited to have this showcase this watch on the channel. All right, we took the bracelet off. Let's see. Definitely solid end links, which is a nice bonus. Bracelet feels good, feels light. So I know that this bracelet's gonna be comfortable and it's gonna fade away on the wrist a little bit more. Case back is pretty standard fare. I love the embossed logo. This logo is great. I really do love the logo. Um, all the standard things that you would want on a case back. Name. There's some coordinates here uh, that probably represents Sydney, Australia, where they're from. Swiss made, the South Peak, Latse, Oceans to Orbit. Signed crown with their beautiful logo. 
I really do love this logo. Sweet. Applied indices with uh, ocean to orbit automatic on the top with their applied logo and let's say on the bottom. Hands and indices are polished. I believe this watch has Super Luminova. Let's take a look and see, boom. Get my little black light thing going. Bam, turn off the light. Definitely some loom. You can see it there. That looks fantastic. All right, it's time to size it up. Screwed links, I think they said they're screwed links, which is fantastic. I hate pins. All right, moment of truth, that's all screwed in. Oh, that's perfect. Sizing is not an issue because I was able to get a perfect size on this. I've been uh, wearing my watches a little tighter than usual, which uh, used to not be the case. I used to like them a little loose, but these days it's been a little tight. I really love how this thing looks. That is, that's a pretty nice looking watch. Size is perfect. I think we said 39 and a half. Um, at least that's what my calipers. Oh, let's see. I got to measure the size of the links. Let's see what this says. 2.8 millimeter. 2.8 millimeter on that, which is pretty thin. Bracelet feels like it's going to be very comfortable. Look at that. All the way female end link. So the drape on this is going to just melt away. Putting it on feels good. The case is pretty much brushed minus the bezel and it has two chamfered edges going along the sides here. Um, the lugs do feel kind of long but it doesn't bother me too much. Dial looks great. Crown is a great size. Bracelet's nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so the deal is I'm gonna wear this watch for a month, do a visual essay at the end of the month talking about the watch. Um, I'll leave all the info about this watch below in the description and uh, send me some comments. What do you think? What do you think about the lot say from ocean to orbit? Anyway, uh, gotta get ready for dinner now. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Peace.